What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2020 Bowman's Best Baseball 8-Box Case Break Figure Team number 16 just sold out. Remember, all cards ship. Remember, the no twins are sold here. We are donating all the twins hits. Uh, so, again, but you get everything else for all the teams you bought. So, here you go. Oops, sorry about that. Boom. There we go. Here we go. Nicholas getting last one mojo in the Cleveland Indians. All the way down to the bottom right there. Good luck, everybody. Bones best have been beautiful, guys. <laughs> Same, Ryan. All right, everybody. What does it actually say? It says something. So is Adley Rushman going to be playing soon? I assume that he's going to be up this year, right? Very nice, Joshua. Alright, so Joshua did get two more, guys. We're only down to one left. There probably is a team. There's a, probably is a person out there that only has one spot. Or has three spots. You know, has the odd spot. So, add that second spot. Or that fourth spot. It's right around the corner, man. It really is, technically. You know, spring training is usually, what, late February, early March? Really not too far off. Hockey's going to be back soon, too, and next week on the 13th. So, even though football is going to be more in the playoffs and, you know, close to Super Bowl time, you know, we'll still have basketball. We'll have hockey back. Baseball will be back soon. All right, those are four boxes. Nice. Is there people, is there like good players that actually play in that league? Oh, is he really? Nice. Well, you know, I mean, I feel like with baseball, you have to kind of still play around, right? I mean, 
kind of have to still stay warm in a way. Whether it's going back home to your home country or, you know, somehow just still training. But I feel like with baseball, once it's over for most teams in September, what, you don't play again until what? February or so to start training again? So you have to kind of really just continue to play. Dodgers fan, I know. I'm a Dodger fan, you know, I grew up here in LA. Always root for them. Baseball's not my, my, my number one sport, I should say. But it's not like I don't love baseball. I mean, I played it in high school and stuff like that, and it was really fun. I just always think that baseball can just be such a long season, and especially being a Dodgers fan, all the years of them just going into the World Series or going to the playoffs and just losing. After the first week or so, I mean... I'm kind of just like, all right, when is playoff time happening again? Because that's really all that matters, you know? You're kind of used to them, them doing well in the regular season anyways. But I want to say, you know, yeah, I want to say now. I mean, last year was already fun to see San Diego with LA. I mean, <laughs> you know, I was out for a couple weeks. But I hear, you know, Padres got some pitching. So, I mean, if you're a Padres fan, I'm sure it's very exciting times right now. most part all the teams that I follow throughout sports you know I've waited a long time to see something you know Eagles Super Bowl was like such an amazing year when it came to that you know being a big Kings fan in LA them winning a couple Stanley Cups going to the playoffs games was fun Dodgers finally winning even though it was kind of a little shortened season and you know, a little different structure but they finally won in my lifetime so always fun times for sure those, those were some years, you know. You endure, you endure like just horrible teams, and it's just you got to get through those years. I know, I know a lot of people actually that <laughs> live in the San Diego area that just hate the Chargers now but not that they really hate the Chargers it's more they hate the owner you know all right guys <clears throat> Boba Shet <laughs> Justin Fosco Texas Rangers I thought they already released him. Oh, they did. That's just a recap. Gavin Lux. And out of 50, Nick Solak for the Texas Rangers. <clears throat> Logan Webb. <laughs> Kyle Lewis. He ran Hayes, Luis Robert, Nico, Mitch Keller to 150. 
Rich from the 99. Padres. And Patrick Bailey for the San Francisco Giants. Carter Keeboom. Nico Harner. Nick York. Trent Grisham. Luis Robert, franchise favorites. Jason Dominguez, and we got a Sean Yamaguchi, Toronto Blue Jays Redemption, best of 2020 autograph. Blue Jays with that one, that is uh, Derek. Jordan, Mackenzie Gore. Nico Horner, Andres Munoz for the Padres. Alrighty guys, just want to quickly top load these autos, so give me a quick minute. So far, a couple Padres, we got Blue Jays auto, we got Boston Red Sox, we got Washington, Giants, still another 8 autographs hiding here, and then another 16 over there. All right, let's move it along. Bob Shep, Robert Pawson, Aaron Judge, and Whit Merrifield. Joe Adele, Arcidas Aquino, and Casey Schmidt. Giants, Nico, Jordan, Tim Anderson, Orange to 25. We're on Power Producers and Keston, Heston Kerstad. Or Jerstad, I should say. Baltimore Orioles, that's Matt Johnston.
Gavin Lux, Jordan Walker, Arsita Zakino. Arsita Zakino right here, and Luis Castillo. Autograph for the Cleveland, or sorry, Cincinnati Reds going to Joshua. All right, next box. Nick Solak to 99 for the Texas Rangers. Um, Nick, I'm actually not too sure. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bobby Bradley, you're right. That's the, Yeah, that's the only one that actually I would probably know of. I'm sure there's maybe potentially other stuff. But, yeah, Bobby Bradley. Now that Ryan reminded me. Nate Pearson. The 250. Dylan Cease. Robert Hassel. We got a Nico Horn here. Franchise favorites. And JT to Real Muto. Phillies. We got Antonio Gabello. Yankees. Chris Walker with that one. <clears throat> Patrick Bailey for the Giants. All right, we're halfway through, guys. Still a lot of stuff. Remember, everything's going to ship. I assume a lot of value adds into this. Well, I would assume Luis Robert because he's a rookie, but the fact that you have Torkelson in here, you have Dominguez, you have, I mean, Torkelson and you have, like, Adley, you have all these other, like, prospects that are legit were just Bowman's first, you know? It's pretty wild, and I, I give props to Tops with Bowman's best to get their autographs in here so quickly. But I would have to think the rookies is what's going to be a little bit more valuable, right? Luis Robert, Kyle Lewis, and stuff like that, but I think having Torkelson, who was just a Bowman's first not too long ago. Number one overall pick. You know. You do have Mike Trout in here, right? Exactly. So there shouldn't be no, yeah, there shouldn't be no delay in having them autograph. so. <clears throat> I mean, hey, make some money, right? I know there's a contract they probably have to sign, but I figure if they probably sign on time and are willing to sign whenever they ask them to. I'm sure they get more money or a little bonus or something. I'm sure some autograph signings uh, for products is based on how much they sign, so they get paid per autograph. If you're a big dude, and I'm sure if you're a mid-tier dude, <laughs> you sign a contract and you're going to get paid a flat fee of whatever every product you sign. So. But usually, guys, you know, it kind of sucks. You always blame the card company, but it's really just the players that don't want to sign. <clears throat> they'll put it off, you know. They'll say they'll do it later, you know, so. I never really get mad at the <laughs> card company. It's just more the player. <clears throat> Yeah, well, yeah, that's true, because <laughs> they have, like, some lawsuits and stuff. I've gotten a couple of redemptions, right? <laughs> I've never really submitted a redemption so much. Excuse me. But uh, there's one I'm still waiting for. I'm, I don't... I, it's freaking Miles Sanders. I know it is. He doesn't want to sign it. He signed, like, all my contender stuff that I wanted. You know, I got those. <laughs> but um, I, I got an alert today saying if I wanted to extend my... Miles Sanders, you know, uh, optic patch autograph to 25. 
or accept a replacement or points. I'm like, no, hell no, dude. I was like, I need this autograph. You better, you guys better get him to sign. I was like, Miles, you better be signing in the offseason because I already waited. Like, I got, I redeemed it last January. It's already going to be a year. My contenders I got within like six months because <laughs> he signed those, but I don't know if he signed his optic patch autographs yet. There's only 25 of them. Come on. Finally got some Dwayne Haskins? I know. But I mean, hey. It is what it is. Yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's why I keep on holding out for that Miles Sanders. I'm like, I know this dude's going to have time to sign it now. So he better sign it. And then I really want that specific card, you know? I don't want no Miles Sanders replacement card. I'll probably have it already if they re replace me something. That patch auto was like a case to an optic, so. Tyson, what's going on? I know I should tell his send him an agent to send him an email to his agent. I should just DM him myself. Zach Bean, yeah, that's another top prospect in here. You know, Kerstad's a big one. I think Pete Crow Armstrong. I mean, there's a lot of this. This is the most impressive thing is that there's so many, um, so many players that were just in Bowman's first. You know.
Alrighty, guys. Let's get more nice hits. Yvonne Herrera for the St. Louis Cardinals. Ryan Harold, there you go, buddy. Luis Robert. Max Scherzer. Wow. Joe Adele franchise 2020 gold on card auto 40 out of 50. Angels, one of the bigger teams. Tyler hitting the Angels. There you go, man. Nice little Joe Adele. He's Alonzo. We got a Nate Pearson green to 99. Torkelson right there. Torkelson again and Garrett Mitchell. Gavin Lux, Casey Mize, and Nick Solak. Robert Nick Gonzalez to one fifty for the Pirates. Tatis Cade Cavalli. And Justin Foscu at a two fifty franchise favorite for Texas. Joshua with that one. Jared Kellenick. Zach Deloche for Seattle. Alrighty guys, last two boxes right here. We got Shogo, Bowman's best rookie autograph. Cincinnati Reds, that's out of 99. It's like retro as well, it's like back in like 2012. Kobachet. Torgelson to 50. It's not an autograph, but some color. That's a little enough something, Rice. Mike Trout. Nick Gonzalez and Everson Pereira for the Yankees.
Casey Mize. Jorge Soler. Out of 250. And Adley Rutschman. Autograph for the Baltimore Orioles. Going to Matt Johnston. Shogo Trout. Luis Robert. Nick Gonzalez again. Our last box, guys. Mookie to 250. Alright, I'll try it, Tomas. I mean, I'm trying, man. I've hit some Torkelsons before, so. Hoping, man. Good luck. Power producers, Luis Roberts. And Tyler Soderstrom for the A's. Chris with that one. You got Yoshi, Alzole, Jordan Alvarez. You got Patrick Bailey and Bruce Star Gratterall to 99 for the Dodgers. Luis Robert. Pete Crow Armstrong for the Mets. One of Joshua. We got a Wander Franco to 150. Jason Dominguez. Our last auto should be hiding right here. And Austin Wells for the Yankees. Lux. Casey Mines. Alrighty guys, I'll do a quick little recap and uh, let me just quickly top load these autographs. Yeah, it's gonna happen, Tyler. It sucks, but you know, I think when the repeating autograph is for your team, you're okay with it, you know? <laughs> um, but, you know, when you're not getting any hits and other teams just keep on repeating, then that's where it kind of hurts. But that's, that's kind of just how Bowman Bus is. I think it's always kind of been like that. It's, there's going to be repeating autographs, and hopefully it's your team. No problem, man. If you hit some stuff, congrats. You know, if you didn't hit much, unfortunately, you know. We'll get them next time, but you are going to get a lot of rookies and a lot of, you know, you're getting all the cards, so it kind of adds up, helps out a little bit. <laughs> Again, I'm penny sleeping to top load a lot of stuff, a lot of inserts, you know, the atomic stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that, like I said, will add up. You know, huge stack right here. There's another huge stack over here. And uh, let's show you some of the autos. So we got Fosco to 250. We got Joe Dell to 50. Schmidt, Kirstad, Merrifield, Fosco again, Logan Webb, Mitch Keller, Bailey, Key Boom, York, Redemption of Yamaguchi, Munoz, Luis Castillo, Nick Solak to 99, Ramuto, Cabello, Bailey, Herrera, Mitchell, 
Solak, Gonzalez, Cavalli, Deloche, Shogo, got Perea, Rutschman, Gonzalez, Soderstrom, Gratterall, Picron, Chung, and Austin Wells. So there you go, guys. That was Bowman's best eight box case break. Pikachu's number 16 on jazbeescasebreaks.com.